it's Corrine for Wild Orchid Crafts and today I have a really fun project to share with you. I do have a full start to finish on this project so for those of you who like to watch the process of it stay tuned for that otherwise I'll do a quick flip through of it and be sure to leave me a comment if you have a question and check out the description box. I will link all the social media links for Wild Orchid Crafts along with their website. They have such amazing amazing products and they're always adding new stuff in so please stop by wild orchid crafts and i will also list on my blog the products that i've used so if you have any questions on that just let me know so what i did here is i altered this cigar box that i had i used a beautiful paper collection from simple stories the homespun collection i wanted this project to be a family photo album so homespun was a perfect family related paper line to use so i went ahead and covered just the front and back cover or front and back of the cigar box only because it was pretty damaged this is a very old cigar box that i got from an estate sale a, a, quite a while ago and I would have loved to actually leave it bare on the front and back cover but it was pretty worn and pretty damaged so I went ahead and covered it with this beautiful paper but I chose not to cover the entire cigar box and there's the reason why I love the writing on it I guess so I did not want to cover that up granted it doesn't say anything profound it's just the brand but I still loved it and like I said, if the front and back of this cigar box wasn't so damaged, I would have left that untouched as well. I also thought about changing out the hardware, but I figured I would damage the box a little too much. I would have done that if I was painting the box or covering it with paper, but I wasn't going to, so I didn't want to damage the box. But I have um, some much prettier hardware than this, but again, I, I thought about doing that, but I didn't want to damage it. So I'm using a Tim Holtz binder ring here for my album on this side. And then this is just, of course, decoration. And this is meant to sit up as basically a, a photo frame, um, a way to display some family photos. So check out the uh, final pictures in the end or over on my blog for more detailed photos of that. But on the side here, I used this journaling card and I actually um, layered them and I added a digital stamp that I had to the front of it that says every family has a story welcome to ours and this gorgeous journaling card from the homespun collection I added this little metal um, clip to the top and I did add a couple layers of chipboard behind this to give it some dimension. I added, as you can see, lots of gorgeous, gorgeous products from Wild Orchid Crafts. Here's a family light bulb from Prima. I also have a Prima mold that I made here added to the side. And this is a spare parts rolled burlap flower or canvas flower, I mean, from Hobby Lobby. I added some gorgeous magnolia flowers in white. All of this is from Wild Orchid Crafts. There's one tucked under here. And I wanted this pop of blue and this pop of coral because the papers over here have those colors in it. They have this coral color, which I thought these coral open roses matched perfectly. That's the only thing you won't see in the start to finish is me adding these flowers in. And the reason is because I had a piece of paper in the background that I didn't realize that had an address on it. So I'm just going to go ahead and edit that out. But besides that, I have the full start to finish of how this came together. For the background paper, I did add this paper to a piece of chipboard. Again, I wanted to, I wanted to add it behind this as an easy way to adhere down my binder clip. So I just adhered my binder clip to my piece of chipboard that has this pattern paper on top and then adhered the entire thing down with some Fabri-Tac glue which it's holding on very well. I did add a little bit of hot glue as well to adhere it right away so I didn't have to wait for it to dry. So to match that I went ahead and added the chipboard behind this piece as well and it really I love the little dimension that it gives instead of being flat to the background. So I also added these pretty flory flowers, again, wanting to give that touch of blue to match in. It's uh, kind of a tealish blue. And then I have some white pretty flory flowers. I have some white cabochon flowers here, some flat back pearl embellishments. And here's one as well. And then I added to finish it off some jewel drops, some Nouveau jewel drops that I thought matched perfect in the coral color. 
So here's a little bit closer look. I have some white, off-white chrysanthemums, and I have some of the blue tone chrysanthemums, and just a couple hip rosebuds in there. This is going to make a really pretty display and be able to add photos to this side. So on this side, as you can see, like I said, I used the Tim Holtz binder ring. I added this doily. Again, it matches pretty well with this coral color. So I added this. Um, I like the texture that it gives. I used one of the little um, journal cards that come with the collection. It's just a little date location. Perfect to write down uh, maybe what these memories are from or these photos are from. I added one of the clear acetate with polka dots from We Are Memory Keepers, I believe. Here is the front. And I did add a little tag to the bottom or a little label that says house plus love equals home. And these labels it well as well from the collection. Family is a beautiful life. And then they're tabbed on the edges here. Hopefully you can see that. And so just throughout, I wanted to um, give it some character, add some different pieces in it. So I added some journaling cards. I love this one. This little heart I backed with some more paper and then added this label. It says Happy, Happy Family. This smaller journaling card. I love this homespun collection. Um, for this little house that comes in the collection, I added one of the ivory heart-shaped pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts. I cut out a scallop of the paper and backed it together from the collection. Hopefully you can see this. I added another little doily that has the yellow throughout and a little house. Again, one of the elements from the collection. Another journaling card. I backed it on a separate journaling card, added one of the ivory heart fl flat back embellishments. And then a little tag. I added one of these little flowers uh, resin flowers that I had in my stash. Here I put a little tag that says remember this, a little banner up at the top here, another banner up at the top here in a heart that comes in the collection, another element. Here's perfect for a photo. I added this little clip that I've had in my stash. On the back here, another journaling card. Home is wherever we are together. This I cut out a little coin envelope from the paper collection. There's nothing inside this, but it's perfect to hold little photos. This is a, another little perfect journaling spot. Little tag here. To the top of this, I added a banner. Such a perfect paper collection if you're trying to do a family-themed album. Our family. Another banner, I added that bike to there. These are all elements that come in the collection. Another little tag here. I love this little journaling card. This one as well. And then on this last one, I added a white organza rose um, I just cut it off. So this will hold lots of fun photos, little journaling, and what I like about it is the person can take it off, take all of this off the binder rings just by opening it up, take it all out, add their journaling, their photos, pop it back in, and like I said, it makes a perfect display to sit on a coffee table or an end table. So I hope you stay tuned for the start to finish. It was fun to put this together. If you have any questions, leave me a comment. And like I said, please check out the description box. I'll have all the links to Wild Orchid Crafts. Thanks so much for watching.